how erratic this thing is, but now I'm starting to think maybe there is no issue with the carburetor, maybe it's an issue with a vacuum leak somewhere. So uh, that burping was from not having the uh, the intake boots and the intake or the outlet on the airbox tightened down completely. So I tightened them down completely, got rid of most of the burping, and uh, then I put the the petcock vacuum hose back on and the burping came back on. So it means I just pushed a little bit on something and I started to get all that nonsense again. So what I'm gonna do is try to diagnose if it's a vacuum leak. If, if there's a vacuum leak, no matter how much I screw around with the carburetor, I'm never gonna get it right. Uh, fuel delivery is, well, it's not gonna matter because the vacuum's gonna screw everything up. So what I have here is the makings of a bomb, but also a couple tools I can use to diagnose this vacuum. So on here, there are these boots right there. And uh, those can get old, these on here, it's 2019, this is 2002, so 17 year old boots. And if they got cracks somewhere on them, they'll be letting air through and that's gonna lean out my mixture completely. So every time I got on the throttle, it just went nuts. Before when I had the air box on, the air box is off now, so there's no, or there's no filter on it. If I covered up the intake on it a good bit, uh, it actually started to run better. It ran differently, but it sounded more normal. So, not exactly certain how that could be affecting things, but what I'm going to do is turn the bike on, let it idle, and what you can do is shoot a little bit of starting fluid, or what I'm going to actually use is just hold a propane torch without it on, and just let that propane go around some areas where I expect a vacuum leak on the intake boots. If I start to hear the the, the RPMs change, then I've spotted where a potential vacuum leak is. So before I pull these whole things off again, let's let's see if I can find it. And uh, the only thing you can do to fix it at that point is to get some new boots. But that would save me a hell of a lot of time instead of uh, ripping this whole thing apart, changing all the settings, blah blah blah, because that hasn't been fun to this point. So we shall see. I told myself I'm not gonna waste the whole weekend on this thing. But it's still bugging me, so let's see if we got a crack in intake. this shit out. All I did was turn it off and turn it back on. It's almost like the leak just fixed itself. I've not been able to get it fuel before. Wasn't able to do that. It's all weird. This is all indicative of a vacuum leak. I mean, I'm willing to bet I could bring that all the way up to redline at this point. I wasn't able to until I shut it off. Also, I had the idle idle needle, uh, I don't, not idle needle, the idle set screw way up and I didn't realize how far up it was. So, uh, let's see if this does anything. Let's see. If we get it consistent. It doesn't start running and wandering around on us. We'll, uh, turn this on.
for the big dog. This is the boot that I think we have an issue with because when I put this hose on, that's when I felt it change. I want to bring the idle a little further down. That's as far down as the idle goes. That leads me to believe that I've got the idle mixture screws inside of the carburetors up way too high which I expected because I'm at three turns instead of one and seven eighths like, I ex like the stock settings say. that mixture is. Uh, it's probably tough to show with the camera. This is a totally warm bike. Granted, it's well below freezing right now. that that looked pretty cool but <laughs> I don't know I feel like I could go ride it right now but I don't know if the next time I turn it on it's uh, just not gonna work I think I should maybe I'll figure out if I could pony up for those boots if I can find them for under a hundred bucks I'll get them <laughs> 